Smoking drugs, smoking drugs or taking this stuff can easily make you forget about your purpose of life. And the shaitan will try to do anything, you know. But Allah is my advice to you, you know. But of course, there's two, gui there's two types of guidance. There's a guidance of irshad, me conveying the message, giving you a reminder as my beloved brothers. And there's a guidance which is changing the heart that belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is upon me, I convey. But I remember when I was young, and this Algerian brother came to us in central London, me and my friend. Yeah, was, yeah I'm Algerian, yeah, yeah. We're smoking drugs and we're chilling. What happened? He advised us. What I'm advising you with, he was advising me, me and my friend. I was 16 that time. And when he walked, I said to my friend, this guy is jealous of us. He, you know, he's old, we're young. But I regret it. That, that brother wants good for me. But you know, when you're young, you think you know it all. You know, you think, I'm, I'm not better than my parents. They're just chatting nonsense. But wallahi, when you're young, you don't have that. Hikmah, like when you get old, you know, with that knowledge, yes, khibra, experience, you know. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Anyway, like I was saying, this individual calls himself Akhi Ayman. He should change his name to Akhi Layman because he's a jahil. Uh, and if you're a jahil, you should not be, you should not, you should not be giving talks at the, at the masajid. Barakallah fiq. If you're a jahil, you should not, if you're an ignoramus, you should not be giving talks at the masjid. Barakallah fiqh. May Allah bless every single one of you guys. Allah says in the Noble Quran, فَأَلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ Acknowledge, have knowledge, seek knowledge, and know with certainty that there is no deity worthy of worship in truth except Allah. And then Allah in the, in, in the verse, after that He orders us to seek forgiveness. So what does that mean? Knowledge precedes speech and action. So if you have no knowledge, you shouldn't be speaking, especially in a masjid. A'uzu billah min zalik. I have a disability. What's your point? <laughs> I already have a disability. I already have a disability. I have more knowledge than, than Akhi Layman. I'll say that for sure. That's irrelevant. What is what is this ta'asub, bro? What is what is this ta'asub for Aki Layman? I don't understand, bro. What is this? Why are you guys why are you guys blind following him? Safra too, but it's not even blind following. What is this, bro? Aki Aki Layman, okay? Aki Layman is a he's a random guy, okay, with a beard, okay, who speaks like a road man. That's what you guys say in London. You call them gangsters, right? Okay. I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove you bro. What is this shit I'm talking about man? If you don't come up, I'm gonna remove you. If you don't come up, Mr. Gets last, I'm gonna remove you. You have to understand. Yeah, you have one chance. Five. If you don't come up in the next five seconds, I'm gonna remove you because you Miss can I just tell you? I'm sorry to hear that your grandma passed away. Yeah, I actually am. Like, obviously, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be upset. Any, yeah. And Adika, you know, the only thing is, no one can force me to be a man or anything. Yeah, and I don't wanna be mates with you. Alright.